All right, we are live. It says it's live, so I'm going to assume we are live. Kind of getting some things pulled up here still, but I wanted to get in so nobody could, uh, <coughs> excuse me, nobody needed to wait longer than needed to. I semi apologize for my tardiness into the stream, but my, uh, my brother came by tonight to finish up some electrical work for us in our basement. And I honestly, I have not seen my brother in like three months, four months, uh, ever since kind of this coronavirus started. So it took some time to hang out with my brother for a minute, talk to him. So I say, I know I'm, no, I'm slightly late, but that's all right. Like I'm going to give myself a pass on this one. It's not the Trent standard time, but it was definitely, uh, hadn't seen my brother, wanted to chat with him, kind of get things going here, but <clears throat> thought I would hit the live button, get things rolling here. So. First off, first order of business, Luis Snazza, $1.99, first in. Thank you, my friend, for the super chat. I greatly appreciate that. Um, I really do. It's very, very kind of you. Thank you. <coughs> We've got uh, Sharon here and Maria Ario, the uh, aquatic monkey business group. And Mr. Lefty said he was going to go to bed but decided to hang out with us because this is the best fish people ever. Let's see. You're on the East Coast. Eh, okay, it's a little late for it. I'll give you a, I'll give you a pass on that one. Uh, Carrie, thanks for being in here. The Zen Ginger, hello. Appreciate you being here. Uh, in case you're all wondering, we are rocking the uh, the waterfront swag tonight. Um, there's a, a reason we're rocking that. We're going to talk a little bit about that here in the beginning of the stream, but I also did come prepared with <clears throat> some ideas. So hopefully everybody can hear me. Hopefully things are rolling and we are going to – things are – Beeping at me. I don't know what's beeping at me. Hopefully, that didn't break something. Um, Lefty says he woke up at 6 a.m. Yep, I know those days. Uh, fortunately, I had today off from work, but the days that I stream when I work, I'm usually up at like 4:30, so it's it's a rough go. But my friend, I understand it is late for you. Um, you've always been an awesome supporter of me, though, coming to these streams. Really appreciate it. Sandy, welcome. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you have you. So we're going to try something new tonight with StreamYard, and I may break it. So if the stream all of a sudden just implodes on itself, I apologize. <clears throat> so I do want to talk about um, Aquavid tonight, kind of go into that. It's kind of a fun topic I've been thinking about doing and some something I think that a lot of people are afraid of. But before we kind of delve into that whole conversation, um, I had a really good day today. So we got some kind of some quick updates I want to do. And I kind of want to talk about the day I had today because it turned out to be a phenomenal day full of fish and events. And it surrounded the waterfront today. So I, it was a fantastic day. So Lefty, yes, the, uh, the puffer definitely is happy in his new home. So um, I spent the day at the waterfront today, my new local fish store in Murray. And... <clears throat> I originally went there because, you know, Luke, okay, Lewis is like one of my favorite people. Now, Lewis is a fantastic person. Um, he runs his business model really well. So if you've, the, the, only, okay, the only way I can really get this across is you listen to Corey and his business model and how he wants to treat customers, right? It's the best. Like we, we are going to strive for the best. You, like, I actually talked to Lewis today about getting him on a live stream. Um, Lewis, his business model is fantastic. His whole focus and goal is the customer. Uh, Lav, welcome, and you're being a regular on these streams. Good to see you. Tiffany White, hello. Thanks for being here. Um, everyone like everyone I've seen come up, like you all have supported me so much these past few weeks. I really appreciate it. So yeah, so Lewis, he runs a great business model. And as you know, he's brought some fish in for me. And I think we're, so I filmed a couple videos today in his store. I'm really, really excited about that. So Lewis actually uh, opened up his store today for the first official tour of his shop and it was only half of the shop so we started with something um, still building some things out so we're going to go back and do it but he gave me the opportunity for the first official tour of his shop i'm really happy about that it went, it went great i really like him uh, aqua balls welcome thanks for being here but as we i honestly spent from like we'll say 11 30 noon till five so i spent like a solid five hours in his store today and like, as much as you want them to get business, right, as much as you want customers, nobody showed up today. So I was literally the only one there for like five hours 
just talking with Lewis, just talking to him, bouncing ideas off of him, talking YouTube, talking fish, talking channels, talking ideas, talking breeding, talking more fish. And then we did some videos and then I, okay, bucket listing happened today. I got to do an unboxing in his shop today. Lewis let me do an unboxing today of the order and let me film it. So really excited to get that video out. So I got that video coming out. I've got um, the first store tour ever of his shop coming out. Really happy with that. Like this is going to be like a progressing thing with his store too. As we get more, <clears throat> more tanks in, more things in, the store built out more, I'm definitely going back um, for another tour. And I, he's, he's new, right? So there's some startup costs. There's some things, but like already his business model is fantastic fantastic um oh and then he had a he, he, so if you know what a doe bicyclet is they are monster fish uh he's working with we'll say a client to sell the pair um kind of what's what i'm looking for oh so what i'm looking for i know it's on top of my, um kind of a commission based kind of but anyway so he had him in a in a main display tank of the shop and he wanted to move the mabu puffer which so Lewis, the waterfront, now is the proud owner of my Mubu Puffer. Um, that's why you're not going to see him running around up in this tank anymore. So it was a bit right decision. It was time. Uh, because you're fish, welcome. Thanks for being here. So I'm kind of watching the chat as we're talking here. So I'm hoping I'm catching everybody. And I talked with Lewis. We made it. We made a deal. So that is the puffer fish that I drove to Aquarium Co-op um, almost two years ago. Two years ago next month. And <clears throat> so if you're – Definitely check out the uh, – it's at the Waterfront SLC on Instagram. You can see all those stories and different things. So anyway, so we, we wanted to move them up into the 125, which I shared a quick clip today on Instagram. And so we moved those dove bicyclets out of that. And I – you know, I'm not an employee, so I didn't help. But being there, whew, we needed to put up signs of like splash zone. Those fish are crazy. I have never seen a fish – fire up so fast in this male dovi today so we had a divider in the tank to keep the male and the, and the female separate right because they are very aggressive towards each other but as soon as you pull that divider to move the fish instantly <clears throat> that male had some of the brightest blue just flash across his body and then fortunately i was out i was filming some b-roll stuff so i quickly like changed lenses you know and sat down and just filmed these fish with this breeding behavior. I mean, this, this, this male had been away from this female for like a, a week or so behind this barrier. And it was an incredible sight to see a pretty aggressive. So Lewis asked me if I would film or edit some of that together and kind of put a video out. And then, you know, he wants to share some of the stuff out on Instagram, but it was incredible to watch these dovi these do that ritual, this routine and just the power of these fish was insane. I, it, yeah, like you need to put like a wetsuit on for these fish. It was absolutely, it was awesome. Um, <clears throat> but really cool doing that unboxing today. So the reason, so, okay, so I'm, I'm all over the place. I had a really good day. So as you can kind of tell, I'm pretty excited. I'm like, I'm jazzed up. I'm ready for this stream. You know, I'm really happy that my wife is, you know, supportive of this and let me doing this because I had a good day. So Lewis ordered in um, some more fish for me, some very special fish for me. I cannot wait. Oh, my gosh. These fish are going to be incredible. So the first fish he ordered for me, I'm going to do kind of a quick, quick, quick clip of them, of the unboxing I did. So you'll see that here shortly. And then I'm going to do another video of these new fish he's, he brought in for me. <clears throat> so they did not come today. They're coming tomorrow. But we had kind of this whole, like, I we had this whole kind of thing planned out. A lefty, they're actually not rice fish, surprisingly. Uh, neither of these two fish are rice fish. But um, so he was going to let me do the unboxing. Unfortunately, they didn't come. Still let me do the unboxing, which is super, super cool. So then tomorrow, the fish are coming. And um, I'm super, I, I'm almost honored. Uh, that's, yeah, I am honored. Lewis offered, because I have to work tomorrow, Lewis offered to personally bring me my new fish to my fish room. So I'm like i'm kind of like first time so just go to the fish room i gotta get this thing looking good like and nonetheless like we're gonna talk like a celebrity of the fish room lewis is coming to my fish room so we're gonna do a whole video on those um uh, really excited i just it's gonna be amazing absolutely incredible um 
you if if you will have seen these fish if you follow a prominent YouTube channel. I'll say that much. Um, fairly new to the hobby, and I have no idea if I'm going to be one of the first to have them, whatever else. I don't know, but I'm just – Lewis found them, and we're going to run with this. This is going to be an awesome breeding project for the fish room that I'm, I'm really working with Lewis on this one. Man, I got everybody hounding me on these things. I got aqua balls asking what kind of fish. Uh, labs over here telling me time to come clean. You know, lefties asking me, I'm not sick. I promise, like, all the rice fish are still here. It's just, you'll you'll understand when you see these fish. Like, it, it's going to be insane. It's going to be awesome. So, really good day today. Um, <clears throat> it was nice. It was nice. It was nice. Like, there was something about it of just hanging out with Lewis. Who, like, I, like, today, like, after this, you can say, like, yes, like, Lewis is my friend. But it was so cool just to hang out in his shop and watch his mind work of where to put fish, what to move this fish, you know, and then just the care that he has for the fish and the passion for the fish. And we talked plans for his shop and what he hopes to be able to do and bring to this hobby. And like, I would love it if we could get, <clears throat> I want his store to become that one where people are driving out of state to come see them. Uh, Nabo, welcome. Good to see you here. Like, I would love to see people driving to the waterfront because that's, that's what they're going to get. Uh, like that's just the, the, the quality. And he's still talking about doing a website so we can ship some fish. Um, like he brought in some epistogrammas that I've never seen, never seen these epistos before. And it was awesome. And then the support that he has for local hobbyists is the best I've seen in my area. Um, like so much. So I've actually seen other stores kind of post on their Facebook pages of like, just just so you know like we also support local hobbyists but like where lewis is just so it's so well known that like no he will help you if it's the right decision you know he's still he's still business right he's still got to take care of himself but like there's some high quality guppies in his shop right now some which came from guppy guru which is awesome to see so peter's supplied him with some awesome guppies but there's actually kind of a, another breeder in there. I had no idea who he was, a younger guy. I never met him. Don't know who he is. I just saw his fish today. But like, I was impressed with the quality. And so it's it's good to see there's a local shop supporting local hobbyists that are honestly bringing forth some good fish. Um, really like it. So lefty's asking me, did I smash the corner filter yet? So I was it last night. So I'm playing with the brine strip hatchery finally now. Like we're actually working on hatching some brine strip out of that thing. Uh, kind of messing with the air system. And I looked over the other night, like that thing was not running. And I got really mad. <laughs> really mad. I had to adjust the air stone. So it's in, it is running. And I don't know. I'm not I'm, I'm not in love with it. Well, you know, Lab, I guarantee you Guppy Guru got the idea from buying those snails from me. Just saying. So like we're gonna get no kidding, kidding, kidding. That's awesome. <laughs> working on it. I'm working on getting there. Um, the thing is though, if, when I do my snail purchase, I want a dedicated snail tank. That's, that's what I want this time. I want a dedicated snail tank to where I can actively raise the, the babies of it. Cause watching your, Oh, I got lids proof, proof. I have lids laugh. You ready for this proof lids. They're here. Still got to do a video on those. That was awesome. But, um, guys, if you have not checked out lav lavnia, I think is her name on Instagram. Uh, super cool snail she's got going on right now. She's calling it Harvey Dent. Uh, and then unfortunately she did lose one of her favorite snails recently. But uh, so no lab, it's it's coming. I've just <clears throat> I kind of spent a lot of money on fish lately, and I need to uh, I need to get I need I need a payday to come in. Let's put it that way. HC Aqua, appreciate you being here. So Nabo is asking me if I decide on replacing or doing a video memory of Francis. So if you don't know, Francis was my, my, my red tail shark or rainbow shark, I think is what he is because he had all red fins. Um, Francis was my original fish from the very first fish tank I've had, like originals. So we're talking five years. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, in the move down to the fish room, an accident happened and I lost him. So I no longer have my rainbow shark of five years. Um, pretty disappointed. Uh, so no, I actually did not make a, a video memory of it. I maybe I will. I think I have enough video clips I could kind of piece together one. 
but um, I will not be replacing him. Not anytime soon. Um, <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see what happens in the future, right? We'll see if we find room or something to maybe set up a, another display tank that can could house another rainbow shark. Because uh, that was pretty. I, I was pretty crushed on that one. I actually was pretty crushed on that one. So. But yeah, so really good day today, though. So okay, okay, let's kind of go fish room now. So good updates in the fish room. We've got a lot of good things coming. Um, unfortunately, the German blue rare pa German blue ram pair I got from the waterfront. I lost the mail. <clears throat> Very unfortunate. <clears throat> and I don't know what happened because he was great for weeks. Um, no external signs of anything. Uh, talking with Lewis a little bit more about it is. We think it was old age because I guess the Rams, the previous owners had had them for like six years. So I don't, I don't know what happened. Unfortunately, water quality is fine. The temperature is fine. <clears throat> Just unfortunate. So I still have the female, but speaking of Aquabid, I uh, did go through on Aquabid and I purchased a, uh, another pair of Rams. So I'm going to have one pair, another pair coming in. So I still have the, the original female, another pair coming in and this pair the seller says that it has bloodline back to a German pair, like a legit German breeder. So I'm hoping that those are going to come. All the pictures I've seen of them are, are excellent. Uh, the coloration is not as dark as these Rams. That's what was awesome about these original Rams is those the colors were insanely dark and kind of that darker blue. Um, so hoping that these, this next pair comes in looking really good and then we can work. We're still working on that one. So definitely get one of the one of the things going. <clears throat> really looking forward to that. Um, so Lefty, I did not get exact documentation. It's just based on emails I have with him. So that is not, so we'll see. I'm I'm wanna I almost want to ask if he has like a proven lineage. But it, if nothing else, as long as the ramps come in looking good, because um, I know they're from his homebred line. So I'm much more happy to buy his homebred line. And pay the money for him versus a farm raised ram, which is a washed out basically. So, anyway, so I I don't have exact proof, but I'm still fingers crossed those rams come in looking good. Uh, the Exanica Dodrie, or how do you say that? Those colors are phenomenal. We have fry in that tank. I think I told that, but the fry are getting bigger. Uh, my mystery fish were getting good breeding action going on. My albino Crevenzis were starting to get some breeding on. Um, I have, I still need to make a video on the betta fish I got from Guppy Guru. Let's see here. Plecos are happy. The discus are doing great. Um, I have some new fish here. I got some Amica Splendens from the waterfront. Super happy about them. So I need to get a tank set up for them. I did a surprise on Instagram. We have the multifasciata shell dollar in the fish room again. That's from, um, waterfront as well super happy about those super super happy about those <clears throat> the red chested endlers i got from ryan's fish tank or not ryan's fish, the wild fish tanks from ryan um they dropped another batch of fry so i have a lot of endlers up in that tank we're gonna be moving those out sword tails are getting ready to drop fry any day um i did purchase two new pairs of fish <laughs> at my local guppy club we just went to i got a really nice line a trio of blue is it blue, green, blue, yellow? Hang on here. I think it's blue, blue, green, <laughs> blue, green, metalhead guppies. So we have some guppies in the fish room again. Really happy about that. And then I got some blue star endlers. Um, the, 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 the males have like a double sword coming off their tail. So really happy about those. Um, HC Aqua, I got his, I think he calls them his red chested double sword endlers, <laughs> or just the red chested endler. Um, really pretty fish, <clears throat> really pretty fish. And man, they have a, uh, they have exploded in numbers, so I'm really happy about that. And then let's see the tank. I mean, you can kind of see part of it. That's the display tank we set up in here. Um, one that Houston Manzanita sponsored. Still need to do a full video on that. That is it's just clearing up. I want to I want that tank to look good, but I'm also gonna make a video about what's happening in it right now because I think that'll help a lot of people. But then I am really excited about this tank behind me. <laughs> We got some new fish in, and I cannot wait to do the full video on these guys. Um, this is going to blow some people's minds. I I cannot. The male, even in the bag, the male on this, the, the colors on the male, insane. Like, 
that fish legit looks painted. And then the uh, the female came actually holding fry. So really excited about those guys. All right, what we got here? Let's see here. So Nabo says, right, Aquabin. My black cores aren't all black. Substrate is white, which makes them look sickly. Working on figuring them out still. Ordered some new dewormer. <clears throat> Good luck with your cores there. I know we've, uh, we think we've talked in the past about some cores. So Lefty, if we if he was smart, he'd have proof on his listing. Like German Shepherd breeders who have pure lines, they might sell more. Now, I, I agree with you. Uh, I still paid a uh, fair amount for these fish. Um, it was $40 for the pair. So not insane. But that's why I'm okay with it too, though, is that just I it's what I like about Aquabit is you can find some decent stuff there. Let's see. Nabo says, Do you wish Aquabit had a more recent website design? Easier to use message. Absolutely. Um, their website is very archaic archaic. And I'm gonna hopefully do I want to work on doing like a screen share tonight. We're actually gonna work on that. That's what we need to get into. See, I've been live for 20 minutes and I've been rambling about fish stores in my fish room. But <clears throat> Let's see if we can figure that part out. Let's see here. Say, so if this implodes, I apologize, and I got to make sure I'm not going to share anything out that's going to be. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try here. Okay. Google Chrome. Until screen is quit now. All right. It's, <clears throat> I have no idea if this is going to work. No idea. All right. Hang on here. Sorry. I'm kind of, I'm kind of doing this on the fly. Um, I meant to have this up earlier, but like I said, though, I had, um, <clears throat> I'm a brother over here. Okay, I think it worked. Did it work? I hope that worked. I really hope that worked. <clears throat> Let's see here. Yeah, I think it is. So hopefully everybody can see what we're doing here. Uh, I'm still gonna try and follow the chat a little bit. There we go, what we got here. Lab says, I've been thinking about listing my snails on Aquabid versus eBay thoughts. Let's see. So, um, Lav, I have I don't have much experience with eBay, but I think you could Aqua. So the Aquabit is actually set up. It's you know it's the title, right? I actually heard Corey say this, so I stole that. It's uh it's eBay, but for fish. <clears throat> I know. I think both would be a good idea. I think you could sell both through eBay and Aquabit. But the thing with Aquabit is that you're gonna get you're gonna get people that are specifically looking for that aquatic snail where people on eBay may not really know what they're looking at, what they're doing. So I think you're going to get, you may run into some more issues on eBay where Aquabit, it's like, this is the true superstore for fish nerds or like aquatic nerds, snail nerds, like whatever your fix is like aquatic, basically like Aquabit is the place. Let's see if we can't get into this a little bit. Um, okay. Hopefully I'm worried that's just not working the way I want it to. So I'm going to try and click on some links here. Um, hopefully this doesn't just go kapoof in my face. <clears throat> All right. So the front page of Aquabid, yes, it's very archaic. Um, this system is, is, is rough, to say the least. It, it is rough, to say the least. But it's still... You can still find what you're looking for. So the thing with Aquabit is you to do bidding, you have to create a username. You have to create a password. So you basically have to create a an account with them. But the thing they don't tell you, which, which took me a long time to figure out, is 99% of the time when you go create an account, it's going to kick the verification email to your spam folder. So check there before you do anything. I got really frustrated with this. And until like I finally like I did some major Googling and found that everybody was saying that it kicks to your spam folder. So if you're doing an account, check your spam folder. You should be able to find what you need. But then you can literally find whatever you're looking for. Um, you can search by category. I mean, you you have you know aquarium equipment, air pumps, air, aquarium equipment, air aquarium furniture, heaters, filter media, filters, lighting, 
all things acquire, uh, all things equipment. Then you can even get into tanks. Um, then you can get down into, into live foods, flake foods, pellet foods, other foods, brine shrimp. Then you can get down into – so this – I will say this is uh, – everything on here is dedicated to fresh water. So if you're looking for salt water, it's not the place, but you can find live plants, bunches, moss, floating, rooted, uh, books and magazines, chemicals, all these different things. Then you can get into more specific you know, categories of fish, <coughs> live bears, are they domesticated? <coughs> domesticated like guppies they wild types you know killifish you can buy killifish eggs um i actually have some japanese rice fish eggs shipping to me from spain right now that i purchased from aquavid you know angelfish pistos you get into all the different types of uh Af of cichlids you know your africans and malawis the mabunas the peacocks tanginka victoria western all the loaches the placlastomus corridora um <clears throat> All sorts of uh, things for betta fish, right? I mean, all sorts of stuff for betta fish there. Of literally, of like what's what's um, showing, like the different typings and different things, uh, all over the place on that. So it's it's quite a lot. I have no. I mean, let me check the chat here. I'm getting word that's not showing anything. All right, let's start looking at some links. Hopefully it is showing the way I want it to. So for let's, what, do we, what do we want to look for? Let's say somebody wants to find, let's do this actually. So we're going to go into, we'll do is it Central America. <clears throat> let's come look at some guppies. Love me some guppies. All right, so here in the guppies, now you can see like we have everything. So over on the left is the description that the seller is giving. Then you can actually see the seller's name. Um, you're going to see a lot of businesses come on here, I think, like living aquatic art or living living art form, something very popular on here. But then you'll also kind of figure out the ones that are more of the the breeder pair, like the breeders of the, like the hobbyists. <clears throat> And then you're going to see the current countdown timer of how much time is actually left on that bid, on that specific bid. And then you're going to see there's some options. You're going to see bids. So I have, have number of bids. Some options have a buy now feature where you don't have to bid on it. Then you're going to see the asking price or the high bid. Some, it's just like any auction. Some come in with a reserve that if that specific amount is not met, the sale will not go through. But you can literally find whatever you want on here. So let's take a look at what do I like? What do we want to look at tonight? <clears throat> here we go. IFGA show quality red albinos. Let's click on that. So Aquabit is just full of ads. So you kind of have to decipher through what you're looking for here. Um, time left is this is how much time is left on that specific auction. So let's say you're bidding against. You know, you and one other person going back and forth on bids and you want to get the one up on them. You may have to stay up to like midnight to get that final bid in. Um, you can see the current, you know, the starting price, the current bids. There's no reserve on this. What, 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 what are we looking at again? Oh, it's a show quality red albinos. Okay. But then you can see where they're coming from. So this one's in Sterling Heights, Michigan. You can see the seller is. These are all the reviews. So I would, I recommend checking reviews on sellers to seeing, you know, some people may have a really good reputation on Aquabit. Some people may have a really bad reputation. You can, you'll, you'll get a feel for who's a good seller and who's a bad one. But then you can kind of come down here and you have to remember that Aquabit is set up to be for the hobbyists. So these are not people that have professional photographers, all these different things. Um, most of the pictures on Aquabit are literally going to be a cell phone picture. So some of them may just be rough. But this will give you an idea what you're bidding on. Like this picture... It's rough. But then let's look at the description here. So up for bid is one trio. So we're bidding on a trio. <clears throat> and it says some of the best IFGA red albinos in the world. So anybody can write what they on here. Um, but it's – so take it for face value. But you can also get some really good information in here. So like right now, like three to four months of age. That's good to know. Um, time of shipping. So that's – you know, and then the females have been separated from the males since before they became sexually mature to ensure they're super high-quality stud of a male – that would be sent as part of this trio, blah, blah, blah. So like 
there's some information like if people were legitimately looking for an IFGA quality fish, which I don't know if this is or not, but it's it's showing information. So at least he's showing like I will ship them USPS Express mail for forty five dollars or UPS USPS private mail sixteen dollars. So it's <clears throat> he tells you his shipping rates right up front. So that's what you're going to need to know is you're going to have to pay for the price of the fish and then the shipping on it. And then if you want to combine multiple shipping on auctions to save shipping, you can. So most sellers I have found will actually say, does he say it here? Uh, Let's see. So shipping is the base price listed above for the first trail and only $5 more per added trail to that with express mail. So I can ship up to three trails at the same time. So there's, it sounds like there's an option. Let's say you wanted to buy two trios from the seller. You, after you bid, win, you communicate through email. He will. You could then request, "I want to buy a second trio from you," in which you'll most you'll pay the original buy price. So let's say you bought a trio for fifty dollars. You bought another trio for fifty dollars. Your your total is now a hundred dollars plus shipping. <clears throat> um, down in the bid history, you can see what username was bidding. You can see what time the bid was placed all of these different things and if it's it's fun too because it's um if you watch if you follow wild fish tanks on instagram i know him and preston john were having a bidding war on here before so it's you can kind of get to know certain people on here and then down here is where you would actually place your bid so you have to put in your username you have to put in your password when you put your bid in but you do not use any kind of quotation marks just numbers no periods nothing <laughs> do your preview bid um <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is going. I did a lot of filming today. One thing you need to watch out for, not necessarily watch out for, that's, that's a bad phrase. So if you place a bid, you can back out of it, but it's very difficult. You basically have to get in contact with like the runner of, of Aquabid, you know, the person who runs this. It's a bunch of emails. It's really difficult. So my recommendation is do not bid on fish unless you can absolutely pay for that fish and have room for that fish. Now there is what is called a proxy bid you can do on, on um, here on Aquabid. So it's, you set the maximum amount you're willing to pay for this, and then your max amount will actually be kept secret, all these different things. So I actually ran into an, uh, a proxy bid the other week. I was bidding on some beautiful red Madaka fish, gorgeous red Madaka fish. And, uh, Put my bid in. I was a high bidder. Somebody outbid me, so I outbid them. And then every time I put a bid in, it said, like, you've been outbid. You've been outbid. And I realized this guy had a proxy bid going on. So it's it's completely legal. It's a it's a function that Aquabid offers. So let's say you are at work, something you have to go to work. You find that, you find that fish you've been dying to get. You could set in a proxy bid of max bid, 80 bucks. Right? I'll say, like, this guppy's trio. Like, your max bid on this is going to be 80 bucks. <laughs> If nobody bids, you win them for 50, but let's say I come in and I bid 51. It's automatically going to bump your bid up to 52. I bid 53, automatically bump yours up to 54. So I ran into this and I kind of got frustrated a little bit because it was actually my first time running into a proxy bid and I didn't realize what was going on at first. But when I realized it, I kind of, I almost feel bad now, but I don't because it's also somebody set their maximum bid, but I purposely ran the auction up. I was going like dollar increments for like 10 bucks to run, run up the auction on this guy that was proxy bidding me. <laughs> it's not my proudest moment, but hey, it is what it is. All right, let's check the chat here really quick. What am I missing here? Sharon, thank you for telling everybody to smash the like button. I have no idea how many people are watching, having too good of a night. <laughs> So Lav says, better potential owners of my precious snails on Aquabid, perhaps. I think you, I think you are correct on that because uh, I think there actually is a full-length feature here. Yep, invertebrates. And then so the, you're going to get a lot of things. Like I guess would snails even be considered invertebrates before I make a fool of myself? <laughs> Probably not. Oops. <laughs> um, there's... Oh, there, I guess there is a little bit of saltwater fish in here. So I, I take back my previous statement. A little bit of saltwater fish. Is there snails on here? There we go. Snails. Jeez. Made a fool of myself on that one. Wow. Watch the YouTube guy that claims to know everything about fish and he calls snails invertebrates. 
So you can get a lot of things here too. Like they're going to build. So Living Artwork, huge company on here. <laughs> they build, they save free shipping. They're going to build that into cotton, kind of their cost. Um, <clears throat> it's like 100 albino mystery snails, right? It's $130. Uh, let's find somebody that's not as big on here. I like this scrap person. Six ivory mystery snails for 10 bucks. They're in Mesa, Arizona. See, so some get a little better pictures. Some are not going to have the most high quality pictures. But that's actually not bad. And then let's see. So they like some things are going to ask you to um, starting at $10 for shipping. And please add $2 for heat pack if your loads are below 45. So it's and then most payments is through PayPal. That's like everything I've run into is PayPal. Um, fortunately, like when I bought my rice fish eggs from Spain, uh, PayPal does a conversion for you. So you don't have to worry about that. But like they're like you could be nice enough, right? I please add two dollars for heat packs. Like you got to like Aquabid is for the hobbyist. So all of my interactions with Aquabid have been very positive. So Lav, I do think you, you would get better potential on Aquabid. I really do. So it's like Mr. Clay D got some uh, two orders from Aquabid coming Thursday. Curious to see what you bought there, my friend. And it looks like Lav, Lav I tell you, Aquabid's addicting. It's great. <clears throat> Lefty says, I've noticed that I've seen the same listings on Aquabit as well as eBay. So I personally like eBay as they have money back guarantee. There's also get gills now. So that is true. Um, with eBay, you're bidding through eBay kind of a thing. Or Aquabit, I don't really know all the details on that. And I know a lot of people are starting to use the get gills. But um, I do think that this uh, Aquabit is is just a great place to start, right? Um, yeah, little Lefty, it's, it's, full of, it's full of ads. Nabo says, watching on the Roku cooking dinner. Keep up the awesome work, Trent. I appreciate it. Curious to see what you're cooking for dinner there. We had pizza tonight. Let's see. Trent, I saw some rice fish eggs from Italy that I thought about ordering. Is the shipping outrageous from international seller? So I think I saw the same ones, and I was really tempted to buy them. Um, there's one seller on there that keeps putting up chili, uh, rice fish eggs <laughs> that only ships to Europe, <clears throat> and it would be awesome. It would be awesome. So my shipping was not outrageous. Um, it's not cheap, but it's not like gouging. Holy cow, that's crazy expensive. When I say, I want to say the shipping was like $25, $30. So it's not insane. Aquaballs, yes, anyone can sell an Aquabid. You just need to create an account and uh, that should allow you to sell their own Aquabid. So everyone has access to it. Which is really nice that it is nice. It's what's nice about it is that it can it is open to the hobbyist. <clears throat> so Maria, check your spam folder. Um, it uh, it honestly kicks out the email really quick, but most of the time it goes to your spam folder. Let's see here. Hey, she's mocking me for something. I have no idea what, <laughs> but I must have missed something. Oh, is it my invertebrate thing? Jeez, I sound just trying to catch up on here. Uh, Crown 2, Crown Tell Half Moon. Welcome to being here. Appreciate you. Let's see. Looks like Mr. Clay got some Adolfi Quarries and some Blue Dream Neos. Nice. It's a good place to find some shrimp. Really good buy. Let's see. Yeah, Lav, I agree. That six Mr. Snows for 10 bucks. So, uh, it's, again, you got to. Some things may come in really good quality, and others not so much. Uh, fortunately, all the things that I've had have been good. So HC, ah, HC, I figured it out. Was that you bidding on those red madakas? <laughs> um, now that I know that, I feel kind of bad. I feel even worse now knowing that was you. Well, my friend, you wanted them more than me, but now, I, now I'm going to go pay attention to what your uh, Aquabid username is. Keep track of that stuff. I may have to set my own proxy bid next time. Next time. <clears throat> Lisa Perez says, just so you, just know you have inspired me to tell my story. Thanks for your bravery. Uh, you're welcome. I, I I hope I did. I hope I helped. I hope I helped somebody. Um, <clears throat> yeah, back to fish. <laughs> First start grind. Okay, so it wasn't you, HC. <laughs> I feel sorry for the other guy. We'll never know who it is unless he finds me on YouTube and sees this live stream and I'm going to get some nasty hate mail from him. But 
All right, what else we got on here? Let's go find something else. So a lot of people ask me where I get my rice fish from. Um, rice fish are also known to be a killifish type. They're very similar to that. So if you come into killifish, you're going to get the option for actual fish or the eggs. So let's go into killifish here. Let's take a look here. So like right here. Ah, these are the ones I was bidding on right here. These Red King Yamamadakas. Look at those. <clears throat> Absolutely beautiful fish. Absolutely beautiful fish. Um, there's one bit on here already. Oh, it's that same guy. <laughs> I shouldn't be showing this. This is the bidder that had the proxy bid on me. So this guy right here is scooping up every Red King Madaka coming on here right now. Um, but that's who that's <clears throat> that's who I was bidding against. But it looks like these fish come out of uh, Hawaii. And then if we come back, we can also see that that's so Mobetta. He also has some of the Kiwami Mayuki Madaka, which I'm curious. I think I actually have some of these, which I thought were my Pearl Galaxies. But I think these are actually the ones that uh, the waterfront brought in for me. So fish go by all sorts of different names. So it's always interesting to see what they're actually going to be called. But then you can see there. So there's a bunch of... Um, Killifish, you're gonna get a ton of killifish on here. But the thing is, you gotta kind of look for sometimes too is the scientific name of fish. Um, so the scientific name for the Madaka rice fish is the or Orzias latipus. Uh, I think I said that right. Or Orzias latipus. <clears throat> so you may see that on here if you're looking, you're looking for that specific thing. It's like right here, this person's calling the daisy rice fish killy. Um, it's, it is a rice fish, but they're so similar to killifish. So here we go. So a pair of Orizias, Latipus, Yuki Pastel. Um, so then you, you got to read the description because like, let's see here. Oh, this person's actually updated theirs. They sell to the U.S. now. So there's a picture. I don't know how true that is. So the thing with Aquabit, you got to remember, is that these pictures – oh, I'm kidding. So – he says his shipping service includes USA, Canada, Japan, and Europe. But then if you come down farther, I ship to the UK and Europe only. That's unfortunate. It is. And it's you – may, you may lose – you're actually going to find uh, a lot of that in, in some areas that they will only ship to uh, a certain country, certain region, which is understandable, right? Like if I started shipping fish, like I would actually probably – you know, only ship to the U.S. Like shipping out, shipping out of the country is going to be insane. Like that's going to be really, really insane to you know fully ship out of the country like that and get that going too. So I can only imagine what that would cost. Um, God. Sorry, I'm having some uh, technical difficulties with my dual screen here. Give me just a second here. I mean, if. Hurry and switch this back. Turn it off. All right. <clears throat> Gotta love technical difficulties when you're getting into things on the live stream. All right, I think we're back. Check chat. Make sure I'm not missing anything. <clears throat> so because your fish is asking, Trent, did you ever replace your daisy blue rice fish? Um, no, I have not yet. Uh, I would like to. I think I'm I think I'm gonna wait until I get the rest of the tanks in the fish room, and then I will actually probably work with the, the waterfront to bring me some more in. I know they have access to them and uh, I took, I did take my Javanese rice fish into the waterfront. Those sold like hotcakes, apparently. So everything with the uh, <clears throat> the rice fish scene, I think we're getting some traction because the waterfront says they can't keep them in every time they bring them in. Let's see here, uh, Lisa. This this community this community is absolutely incredible. That's why today was just such a good day for me is that, you know, I, I love to have the support for my wife and child to let me do this hobby, right? To come hang out with this. But then to hang out with Lewis all day and just talk with him was awesome. It was, it was very, it was really nice. Let's see. Did Jesse get some uh, Valley Fish? Welcome. Thanks for being here. I just saw you in there. 
Looks like somebody may have bought some of those uh, red madakas. Those are pretty fish. Absolutely pretty fish. Laugh says, I've been searching for pea puffers locally for almost a year. I'll have to look on there. And you can find some. Let's see. I just saw some out there, too. So Lefty says, Get Gills has pea puffers. At least it did the other day when I looked. Uh, Dan's Fish may have some. But, yeah, pea puffers, they should be on there. They do really well. So HD Aqua says, I have the orange madakas, the red, the king red are on a different island. But my friend got them from a Mobetta and is breeding them and will send them send me when he's ready. Put me on that waiting list, my friend, unless I uh, beat out this person on Aquabid first because those fish are insane. Absolutely insane. Let's see what we got here. Lefty asks, do you ever take a look at those rice fish I mentioned? Uh, maybe. I think so. <laughs> I'll have to check. Marlon Chaser, 87. Good to see you here. Hope your vacation was a good one. I think you were down in Florida, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Because your fish, I can set you up. I have a ton. I'm just south of you. Let me know if you're interested. Uh, if you are talking with me, I probably am interested. Oh, Daisy Rice Fish. I guess we're talking about that. Are you local because you're fish? You may have told me that. And I probably completely forgot about you. Um, if you can find me on Instagram, just at well done tanks. Uh, you, it may come up, you may be able to search well done aquatics again and it may come up that way. Send me a DM. So send me a message and we'll, let's talk about that. Cause if you have some locally, I'm actually very interested in those. Uh, absolutely interested in those. Yeah. So HG Aqua, those are, those are fry. Um, I, I think you could I think you could sell some fry for some great numbers. Um, I actually have, so I'm, I'm still waiting for them and I'm hoping I didn't get scammed a little bit here is I purchased some black. So it's, it's French. It's, it's lame. It's black lame, Daka, but it's that L A M E apostrophe. So like Lama or however you want to say it, <clears throat> uh, kind of have more of a, it's going to sound crazy. Sparkle pattern or pearl scale. If you want to say beautiful fish, um, I won't say too much, but I know somebody just ordered in some orange ones with that, and it is it is it is amazing. So, really, I, I bought six fry of the black lane. They should have shipped by now. And they haven't, so I'm a little concerned about that. But um, <clears throat> I think you could submit make some money, Aqua, just by selling the fry. Maria says this is awesome. I need this list of Crebenzis. We are running out of space. Well, if you are interested in shipping some fish, Aquabid's a great place to get rid of them. Uh, yep, left. You could also sell them there too, my friend. So I'm still, still waiting for my albino crebenzis to uh, hopefully breed for me. Two of them took up shop in one of the coconut huts, so really, really hoping for that because I would love me some crebenzis babies up in here. All righty, let's go back here really quick. I'm going to show you something. So then you can come down to like the killifish eggs. So like right here. So Orizias latipus, Mayuki Madaka. That is the orange Madaka. Uh, Caspel 10. This guy is phenomenal. Really good to work with. Uh, he is located in Spain. So my eggs should be here this week. I'm really concerned about it. Actually, just it's kind of nerve wracking. Like there's something about ordering fish online. There's something about ordering eggs online. So really hoping those eggs come in well. But he gives all of his uh, shipping costs down here. But what is nice too, though, is that <clears throat> he gives you a good tracking information. Uh, and then you can kind of say here too, like I accept PayPal, payment by PayPal. It's plus 5%. Contact me for PayPal details. Um, because we're doing the currency exchange, it is a little more. But then it's nice too, but it's, he's a good if you're looking to buy some eggs or even he occasionally he lists up some, some rice fish, uh, Caspel 10 is one is a fantastic buyer on here. Um, then the fish behind me actually came from, I just, there it is. Oh, actually came from a uh, KJE aquatics. So if somebody recommended them for pond plants, I did buy some pond plants from them that I, I did, I didn't put together. This was, him right away until the fish actually came and I got the sticker. So <clears throat> Aquabid can kind of be of a can kind of be a small world, but literally like you know you can get into so a lot of people ask like where you can buy betta fish, right? Let's say you want like a, a very specific betta fish. Um, you could come check some placots in here. What's this electric blue giant? Do I want him? Like 
there's a picture, right? You kind of have to judge. Like you can click on the image too to see if it's it does, it does a Google search to see if that image is being used somewhere else. Um, so some fish you will pay more for on Aquabid, just due to the fact you have to pay for the fish, you have to pay for the shipping. Um, but it's it gives you a larger variety. So like individuals that may not have good local fish stores near them, like I do, you may run into some things of maybe you you got to ship everything in and you can find some great fish on here, like live bears. Let's check domesticated. Like, what are all these? Like, again, living artwork, very popular on here. But like, you can plot these. Let's see, six green sword tails. What is this? <clears throat> like, that definitely, to me, that looks like a hobbyist picture. And I think since Aquabid's so flipping old, it's going to render the picture a little different, differently. But, like, that looks like a hobbyist picture. Um, they're out of Pennsylvania. So like Aquabids, it's it's a <laughs> it can be a very expensive site for you, but it can also be a very lucrative. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm I'm sorry, my voice cracks. I've been I've been talking a lot today. <coughs> it can also be a very lucrative site for some people too. I think it's a great option uh, for people to. I say like like the aquatic monkey monkey business is talking about like they're overrun with crebenzas and run out of space so maybe they throw some up on Aquabid. It's just you're gonna have to kind of work out the shipping kind of a thing, and that's that's one big thing I really talked with uh, Lewis about today is do I want to ship fish? Do I want to do that? <laughs> kind of what 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 I want to take down the road of things because uh, we're gonna have fry in this fish room even more so here soon. I'm really excited for it. Um, but we are set up very well here. Uh, I'm hoping for some guppy fry soon. Hoping for more endler fry soon. Looks like one of my endlers is already pregnant. Um, you know, the my my sword tails have dropped fry once, and I got one surviving one. But uh, yes, all right. What do we got here? Let's see. HD Aqua says my albino cribs haven't bred either. Only the regular ones did. So I, I know I've read some things that people say the albinos don't breed. So I am – I've had them for a little while. I think I'm going to give them a few more weeks. And then I, I have considered purchasing just some regular Curbenzis, uh, putting them in there. So maybe aquatic monkey business, we may have to talk about that uh, to see if I can get those to kind of crossbreed potentially. But we'll see what we did here. Uh, Marlin Chaser 87 with the $10. I appreciate it. We made it back almost two, let's see, almost two weeks. All fish made it except some electric blue Akara fry, but they had another batch while I was gone also. They were spawning every week or two. It's wild. So I believe he went down with his family on vacation. Good for you. I'm glad you got out. You know, go have some good times in here. But uh, let you let you blue Akara. That's cool, man. That's really cool. Uh, the waterfront actually just got a bunch of electric blue Akara and they're bred locally. That's a really pretty fish. Uh, I actually no longer have mine. I did sell them. But when I had those electric blue cars, like those are actually kind of one of my, my low-key uh, favorite fish. They are they're really, really pretty. But glad you're safe. And thank you for the $10, my friend. Really, I really appreciate that $10. That's going to go towards – that's going to buy me a 10-gallon tank on the Petco dollar per gallon sale when that happens again. I need six more to fill out the fish room. <sighs> Maria, see the aquatic monkey business. So it is Maria, but aquatic, I, it's easy for me to say the aquatic monkey business because I know that all of you are there listening. Uh, if they have picked a home, they have probably have babies. Yeah, I'm I'm tempted to like flip the coconut hut, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I don't want to scare them. Yes, so if you have not, check out aquatic monkey business on the Instagram or the YouTubes. Um, kids are having such a good time with those fish tanks and it's, it's, it's good to see. It really is good to see some happy things right now going on in the world. Lefty says, I just lost all my endlers. Very sad, my friend. Sorry to hear that. So HC says, I know a couple people that have bred albinos together just fine. I'm really hoping like I like Crebenzis, but I really do like the albino form. Um, it's very, very pretty minor. I think I'm in a good breeding state because I'm starting to differentiate males and females with the coloration they're getting. And on that, just that kind of white body. Ooh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. <clears throat> it's like aqua balls needs some of our, uh, our, uh, binocromensis. 
Uh oh, aquatic monkey business. I will follow your advice. Sounds like if I flip that hut and they have some, they're going to kill everybody. <laughs> All right. So hopefully that gives some, some people an idea on what Aquabid is. Because it's actually, I say, it's, it's fantastic. It really is a fantastic place. Um, it's, it's very – I used to be kind of afraid of it just because I didn't know what was going on with it. Um, but I wasn't used to it. Right? Like the first, the first time going into anything, it's always going to be kind of, kind of scary. I think, right? It's, it's something new. It's, <clears throat> you know, figuring out how do I place the bid? How do I get my my username on here? How do I get my password on here? Like I was so frustrated for a couple of days trying to find out that before I figured out it goes to your spam folder. Um, but yeah, I, I say, I hope that kind of gives a rundown. So do some searching, check out Aquabid, see if it's something good for you. I know a lot of us talk about it on live streams and different things. We often say like, oh, I purchased it from Aquabid. But then like most people don't really know how Aquabid works. So that's so why I wanted to do this since I've been using Aquabid more frequently. I wanted to give some people some insight on it. I really did. Lav says not one purple mystery snail on Aquabid. Am I searching wrong or something? Well, it sounds like you need to get your purple snails up on Aquabit and make a fortune. Make a fortune. <laughs> but before you do that, save me some purple ones. If you got a bunch of purple, I think that's the one I'm going to go for. I really like that and the uh, the ivories. Those are pretty. Um, the waterfront brought in some ivory mystery, mystery snails. And actually, I dropped your name, Lav, to the waterfront. <clears throat> they want some good, good reputable place, places to buy some snails. Let's see. Yeah, so I, you know, Maria says, you know, I saw it before, but it doesn't look right to me, so I don't like it. So I think she's talking about Aquabid. Is <clears throat> It is an archaic site. It really is. It's old. It's not updated. Some crazy ads come through there. Um, nothing that's not family-friendly or anything like that. It's always safe for work. It just... It's just, it's difficult to try something new, especially buying fish online for the first time. It can be very stressful for a lot of people. Um, and I, I know I'm, I'm always worried about it, right? Like when I had these fish behind me coming in, I was super nervous about it. Let's see. Cancer Train says, I had the ugliest brown mystery snail, but it consistently dropped purple babies. That's cool. Like I don't know all the genetics, but that's, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, Lab, I do agree with you. It is very rewarding. When I really had my mystery snails cranking there for a while, it was very fun to see new clutches come up and different things. So that's why I really do want to get some back in the fish room. It's just, it's it was very unique. And I, at the time, I didn't really have, I wasn't giving enough attention to the baby snails to really raise them up. But if you see Lavnia's Instagram, <clears throat> she does some really cool time lapses. Sorry, my my voice is going out. Of uh, like putting some food in the tank and just this mm. horde, like horde of snails comes out of the woodwork and goes everywhere. It's the coolest thing to watch. Really cool to watch. Let's see. So Clay, are are you going to sell an aqua bin when the time comes? <sighs> okay. Uh, well, uh, interesting question. Good question. So I, I am considering it. Um, I've said in the past, and I still need to work out some details that I would be selling with Salt City Aquatics uh, with Guppy Guru. That's still an option to me. We've discussed some business of it, but we've never really finalized business of it. My first priority is going to be supporting the waterfront. Um, that will be where I will take a majority of my fish is I want to support them because they have supported me. I think it's only right that a, a, a company that's willing to work with me as much as they have and wanting to work with me as much as they have, a little, allowing me to create content in their shop today and the friendship he's given me, I think that's only fair. That if he's going to bring in some incredible fish for me, I owe – how do I, how do I owe? I want to honor that friendship with that. Um, Lewis today was pushing me pretty hard to set up my own website today on setting up my own my own shop my own site to sell fish so the simple answer to that clay is yes i do plan on it especially as we start getting a lot of fry in here i do think occasionally i will offer up some of my fish because i don't 
I'm not one to just kind of hoard my fish of <clears throat> <clears throat> no, you can't I, 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 okay. I'll say that I'll say this much, but you're gonna have to wait for the video. Um, Waterfront brought in some platies for me that are absolutely insane. It is like I've never seen these fish in person. I saw them online, and I, that was my test to Lewis to see if he could find fish for me, and he came through. These platies are nuts. Um, I I know as soon as I show them, I know a bunch of people are like, oh, I already have those. What are you talking about? Like, but in my area, like never seen these fish before um absolutely gorgeous platy like these actually really made me like platies i don't want to be the one that like no you can't have these i have these you can, no, no 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 like no i want to sell them i want people to experience this fish i want people to see the beauty of this platy uh the the fish i have coming i actually just almost slipped up on it the fish i have coming tomorrow i want people to have those fish i want people to have access to that fish um, but I, I want, I want local people to be really excited for the waterfront and I want to drive. I'll actually want to drive business from out of state to the waterfront and in hopes of, I actually, so, okay, this is going to be, this is, this is dreamer Trent talking here for a minute. <sighs> the reputation that Dean has at the Aquarian co-op, I want that reputation at the waterfront. I want people to come in <clears throat> from out of state and go. Are those the platies that Trent bred? Like, are those though? Like, is that them? Like, is are those the Madaka rice fish from Well Done Tanks? Like, I'm reaching for the I'm shooting. I'm reaching for the stars. I'm probably gonna really miss the moon, but like, that's that's my goal right now. Is I want I want to provide quality hobby fish to people and have them be excited about it. <laughs> but with that though, is it fair of me to only? only stay local is that fair to me to stop others from you know seeing these fish i because that was the big thing the big pushing point lewis had was <clears throat> you share your fish on youtube and you get people excited about this oh i'm sorry but like my crebenzas right now <sighs> see if i can get a picture i'm sorry like wow i have to get a pic oh he's running away well, I think one of the males just came out, and oh my gosh, that color. All right, we're back where I was at. Is, so that's one reason why I, am, I think – there he is again. Oh, I think we're going to get some babies soon. Um, I think I'm going to do Aquabid because I think it's, it's a place that I could offer up. I've thought about doing Madaka rice fish eggs. I mean, I have hundreds of gold Madaka rice eggs that I, I just don't know if they're making it yet. I need to get my fry system up and running. Like I could offer those up to people, right? So I could I could give people an opportunity to really get some Madaka eggs, um, platy fish, guppies, like multis. Multis are incredible, <laughs> difficult to find. But if I could offer those up, that gives that something to people. Uh, these fish behind me, I cannot. I, I I'm saving this fish because I want to make the whole video on it. I have a great idea for them to really introduce people to this fish. Um, I think people. This is a very underrated fish in the hobby that I think most people kind of forgot about. So to keep that local, I don't know if that's fair of me, but I also got to make sure it's feasible for me because what I run into, that's why my live streams aren't on a set schedule is my work schedule. Uh, I have to be able to make sure that it's good for my family. I have to make sure it's good for me. My, I mean, my wife already tonight was like, well, I can help shoot fish. I can help package fish, which she can. Like she absolutely could. It's just, is it fair of me to ask her like, hey, babe, I need you to package up, you know, 30 fish today and get them over to USB at you, you know, UPS before the, the daughter's nap. And so we're, we're working on it. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it yet, um, but I, I do, I would like to offer it somehow. And Lewis really got my mind working today. Just the wheels cranking of, is it, because if you'll notice, I rarely, if ever push that we sell the Weldon Tanks merchandise. Um, I'm still on Teespring. I haven't really gotten away from that yet, but I, I just don't also have full <clears throat> flex cash to dump into merchandise to offer a lot of people, right? So it's like I don't push a lot of that. Like I always appreciate the support I get from everybody. Like, but Lewis was really like, man, you should set up your own website, get your merch up there, get some hats made, you know, get your t-shirts made, get some stickers made. And I, I, I it sounds great in theory. It sounds fantastic in theory. To hopefully even just inspire people of hey in a seven by eight fish room look what you can do right like you don't need 
300 tanks to have and some incredible fish. I would love 300 tanks, but like I'm going to have 27 tanks in here, I think, by the time I'm done. And like, I'm hoping to have all these full with fry, <laughs> especially with the German Blue Rams. If I can get those out cranking, I hope to be able to – because Lewis's point was, okay, you get the Rams breeding, right? You get them breeding. It's, let's say you have 50 fry. You bring 50 or 25 fish to me. What are you going to do with the other 25? He's like, I can't always take 50 fish. Like, okay, that's a really good point. It's like, so what are you going to do? Hang on to? Them? Well, they're going to have another batch. Now you're out of room. Now what? I'm like, oh, you know, okay, like you're making sense, but it just, it's scary to take that next step. Like, it's scary to kind of invest myself into that of, <clears throat> do I have the production rate? Do I have quality that people want? Do I have fish that people want? And that's a big thing in my reputation because now with me being on YouTube, you're going to get people that are going to want to, they're going to want me to send them fish so they can do an unboxing, right? Support the YouTubes, all these different things. If they unbox that fish and it's dead, you know, that's on me. That's not on USPS and UPS. No matter if the box was ripped in half, that's still on me. So that's something I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get much sleep tonight. <laughs> that's, that's, but you know that's okay because Lewis really gave me something. Talking with Lewis today, like <clears throat> I talked to him about doing a live stream with us, which I'm really excited about. Lewis is that guy that just makes you want to drive for your dreams. You know, his this fish shop was his dream, and he has it. He's reaching that. He's doing it. So Lewis is that one that is just really made me think about today. Like, what's my dream? Like, this was my dream. I have it. You know, we're we're I'm I'm live streaming right now with. 20 people watching, like that's my dream, and that's awesome. You know, my my family, that's my dream. I have that again. Maybe one day I'll open up more about that, but like there's a time in my life I didn't think I was gonna be able to have a kid. I have a kid, like that's my dream. Like my wife supports me, like, that's my dream. It's like Lewis is just the one today, like he's just that guy that just makes you feel like you can do anything. Um, all right, enough of me being all mushy gushy. Let's get back into the chat here. Marlon Chaser 87, can I be a silent partner? I'm sure we can figure something out. I think some, uh, maybe some, what is beeping at me? <laughs> Something's beeping. I'm pretty sure we can figure something out there, my friend. <clears throat> but if you, uh, if you ask me to uh, eat fish food, I'm not doing it. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Where am I at? Looks like we finally got Aquatic Monkey Business following Lab on Instagram, and I agree. Wow. She does some awesome stuff. Let's see. Lefty says, I've never seen purple mosaics locally or domestically on Aquabit and assume no one else had them. Then they popped up everywhere. So I think I think fish go through phases. So the fish in this tank behind me, um, God, I'm so excited about these fish. If I got this idea from for these fish because um, Randy – who now works with Aquarian Co-op but still does the Aquarius podcast, did an interview with Corey of a really like, – if you are not following Aquarius podcast, it's it's one of those things if you have long-distance driving, put it on, set it down, and listen. Some incredible information comes out of those. He was talking to Corey about the breeder program, the breeder award program, the points for the Seattle program, club, something, 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 something. And Corey brought up these fish. And I was like, you know what? Like, I think I've heard of those once. Like, are those even around anymore? You know, 20 years ago, these were the rage. So I <clears throat> did some Googling, did some talking, talked with Lewis. <clears throat> Lewis, unfortunately, was not able to find them, which doesn't kind of surprise me because I'd never even heard of these. Uh, I think once. And I think I heard them from Steam Font Aquatics once. But then I went on Aquabit and bam, like there they are. And I have them and so excited. So uh, Lefty's, uh, Lefty's saying it's only local unless you're subbed on YouTube. So all the all the subs on YouTube get it, uh, direct access to this. So sounds like we need to get Lewis on top of subbing on me to YouTube. That's not kidding, kidding, kidding. He's already subbed anyways. <laughs> Tiffany White, you know, Tiffany, I, I actually found your, I think it's your YouTube channel the other day. Um, if you still have those, those are some gorgeous angel fish you have. Very well set up. Let's see. I recently started selling fish. I breed in my local fish store, and I also sell on get gills. Some fish that a serious hobbyist values might not do well in the local fish store. Now you're that's a you know what, that's a very good point that she just made. Is you could take there's some 
what sells in a local fish store may not be good for that area. <clears throat> um, every time I, I've kind of worked with some fish, I've always asked Lewis, is this going to be something that's going to sell for you? Uh, especially if he's bringing it in for me special order, right? I don't want to bring something in, breed it, well, hopefully breed it, and then just have it sit. Um, but she's right. Like you, if you, what sells in a fish store and what sells on Aquabit is going to kind of be two different things. Fish stores attract a lot of attention from new hobbyists, different things like that. So you may not get the person that sees that guppy and says, wow, like that's an intense guppy. They're just going to say, oh, it's a guppy. Or like the orange Vidaka rice fish. Oh, it's a baby goldfish. No. But then you get like on Aquabit or get gills and different things. And like that's going to be very nerds. Like we know what we're looking for. Like I'm going to Aquabit to specifically look for this. Um, but a Tiffany, if you're a uh, if you're if you're selling on Get Gill, I need to look more into Get Gills. I think Dan's fish is on there. Like that's the only thing I can find. But if you're on Get Gills, I need to find that because if you ha I I want Angel Fish is something I'm thinking about playing with in the fish room. So if you still looks like you still do have your Angel's Fish, um, I need to find you. I need to find you on Get Gills because it sounds like you may have some fish I'm after. <laughs> so let's see. I think it depends on how many fish you have to sell, what you want for them in terms of money, and do you want to ship fish. So yeah, the shipping, I'm, ah, I'm I'm back and forth on it, but I'm leaning more towards it. And then, um, you know, money, I, I talked to Lewis about that today too, and it's, I just want to fund this, right? So like when I run out of fish food, it's, oh yeah, I can buy fish food. Like, I'm, and I'm not looking to get rich. Like, that's never going to happen, but it's, I want people to enjoy the fish that I have, but I also like, like all my Javanese rice, which that entire colony, I took into the waterfront and just, you say, well, I can pay for it. No, no. This first batch of fish is on me. This one's on me. I want you to test my quality, make sure they're good fish, make sure this is going to be a good thing for you um, before any of that comes into play. Let's see. So HC Aqua is talking, say, the Thailand exported a lot of purple mosaics recently. Yeah, now those, that purple is a popular color. There's some, actually some purple mosaics for sale at the, uh, the Guppy Club auction, but these... Uh, these metalheads, they caught my attention. <clears throat> Lav says, I put a lot of effort and love into my snails. It really makes me happy when others enjoy them as much as I do. You know, that's what I want for my hobby too. Like I would love for somebody down the road to get get a pair of these platies, right, that I have. that You only, you only know they're platies. And be able to say like, yeah, this is a great thing of platies. Like I love these platies. I enjoy these platies. That's why I like rice fish so much. I, I love that there's so – like. Sharon is one of my favorites. Sharon sends me messages and emails of these, like, look at the rice fish I got today. Like, my rice fish are carrying babies. And I, me and Sharon have been talking rice fish, and I love that I get to share that with somebody. I love that, you know, in this live stream, we've had we've had discussions about different fish that we all get to enjoy. So I agree with you, Lab. It is nice when other people enjoy it. Tiffany says, thanks. I do still have the angels. I've been working on them for a few years. Some newer strains of guppies won't bring much at local fish store. <laughs> And I, and I think it's people don't know what they are. <clears throat> people just don't know what they're looking at. Um, I need to find you on Get Gills because HD Aqua approved of Get Gills. And if you know HD Aqua is approving of things, it must be a good one. <laughs> yep, Crown Tell, I agree with you, my man, is that you know, when you can relate with others in the hobby, that's, that's what's so good about this community. Um, like the support that Guppy Guru has gotten recently. Like, right? He's, he's – uh, um, just he's over a thousand. He's growing fast, <laughs> over a thousand subscribers. Hey, he's gonna he's gonna take me over easily. But that's okay, is it? because that's it shows that there's people out there supporting him, and that's what I, that's what makes me happy. That's why I enjoy my live stream so much with the uh, the think tank, you know, Barry Aquatics and Guppy Guru. Is all three of us going to come together and support each other in what we do and you know uplift the hobby? So that's it's really enjoyable to see people come together in this hobby in this community it's like yes it's a hobby but when people find this and then they find the community aspect of it it's fantastic yeah crown tail it's just me tonight my man just me being solo i have no idea where they are <clears throat> probably out celebrating working who knows what um just me i know my streams are a little harder to get to because they're so sporadic but i'd still try i still try to get them in <laughs> Still try to get them in. 
All right, we got hour and 15. Let me go for a few more minutes. I know we're getting close to that close to that 8.30 mark. <clears throat> Put the daughter to bed. But I, like I said, I can't thank everybody enough for the support that we've gotten in the last few months. To have, what, 21 people in the live stream right now, it's, it's fantastic. Like, I, everyone here, thank you so much uh, for, the, for the conversations, the Instagram. Like, it's fun to interact with people on Instagram, the support there, and just talking. And I keep looking at my Carvenzas, and I'm really thinking we may have Fry. So they have, like, outcast two of them. So I have like four, I think five Crubensis in there. So if I can for sure get a pair, and there may be some uh, uh, a vinyl Crubensis on Aquabit. <laughs> we'll see what I do with them. <laughs> but uh, things are moving along here in the fish room. Very excited for what we got going on. It's things are good. Still got a lot of videos I got to make, and I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. Um, hopefully, film a bunch tomorrow night. Say Lewis is bringing those fish down to me. Um, I still got to do a video on the betta from Peter. That thing's awesome. Do these fish. Uh, do that product. Do this tank. This fish, this fish, this fish. That fish. That way. Oh yeah, we got a lot going on. Tiffany says, Sparky's Tropicals on Get Gills. That must be your username. Thank you. I enjoy both selling online and dropping off at the local fish store. I like the variety of doing both. I fast the fish before shipping, which is a hassle but more money. So I, that's something I will absolutely implement. Um, even when I'm taking fish to the store, I try and fast them. Like the rice fish, before I took them in, I fasted them. Um, I took in my uh, Imperial Ranger Pleco today. <clears throat> took him in, made sure he was fasted. So it's it's a very good point, and I agree with Tiffany, because when you fast the fish, it helps keep the waste down on the shipping bag um, to the fish and hopefully be better. Sparky's trying to write that down before I forget that. Because knowing me, I will, and then I'll be very sad. Spark. Oh my gosh. Sweet. Thank you very much. Looks like H.E. Aqua's already beat me to it. Dang it, I gotta get on this. Your dark blue Moscow's. All right, now I'm curious. Let's do a little bit of a Google search in here. Get gills. Oh, wait, search all products, stores. Oh, what am I doing? Let's come back and do this. Hang on. Share screen. Um, location window. There we go. Okay. So I haven't spent enough time here on Get Gills. So I've always just known of Dan's Fish, but that's the only one I've ever like really clicked on. Nice. Search all products. Sparky's Tropicals. <clears throat> nope. Messed that up. Okay. Search, search stores. Got it. Man, I'm struggling tonight. <clears throat> oh, come on. Where's the chat? Did I type that in wrong? Sparky's Tropicals. Got it. <laughs> oh, wow. Those dark blue Moscow's are really nice. Wow. Some blue marble angelfish. We may be, we may be talking here, my friend. <clears throat> Those golden golden black lace guppy trio. That's really nice too. Let's come look at these dark blue Moscows though. That's a really pretty fish. Let's see that play. Yeah, so I stumbled across uh, Tiffany's uh, YouTube the other night and was watching it. And she has some beautiful angelfish. And look at that male. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go. I I could go down this rabbit hole so far. Oh, no. Like, this is going to get me in trouble. All right. Let's see here. Sharon's asking, Trent, do they have Hillstream loaches at the waterfront? So not in stock. I believe he would get them in for me, but that is actually one fish that I'm hoping to breed here in the fish room. Um, really, really have intrigued me lately. 
So I've, I've found him on Aquabid. I'm thinking I'm going to talk with Lewis, though, about bringing some in for me when I'm ready for him. Because uh, I, I saw Rachel's O'Leary, Rachel O'Leary's video on them and actually tracked down some of the similar Calvis capes that she's using to try and breed them in. So I, I would I would like to help break that stigma that they only can breed in these certain conditions. Uh, I will say I think I can agree that they can do better in <clears throat> faster flows, but I still think we have a good opportunity there. So nothing in stock, but I I, I, I think I can convince Lewis to get him in for me. Tiffany says, I learned everything I know about shipping fish from Dan. I had, a, I had a box of angel fish get lost in mail for 10 days, and they arrived okay because they had no waste in the bags. That's awesome. That is my fear about things uh, going going missed. Marlon Chaser, I think Dan actually created this website so hobbies can sell their fish. I think anyone can create a store. That's cool. That's actually really good to know. Um, I may look more to get gills now. <clears throat> Wait, Sharon, did I miss the long fin white clouds? Oh my gosh. What? Long fin white clouds? Where? I'm not seeing those. Because that's another fish I've actually been really considering bringing in here. Love me some white clouds. Uh, Michael had some great success with white clouds out in his pond. Okay, so H.C. Aqua says that Marlin is um, is correct. How to think about that word. But get gills will take 5% of the total sale. I don't mind, though. It's going to a good guy, Dan. Yeah. You know, and I'm okay with that, too. If it's if it's some <clears> – if Dan did create that to help other hobbyists and, you know, provide that platform, I think that's fair. Like, Because then I can you can tell. I've, I've watched some of his YouTube stuff, and he, he does a lot for the hobby. Um, I need to definitely look more into that. So uh, crown tail, unfortunately, I lost the male German blue ram. You know, I talked about this a little early in the stream. Um, no idea what happened to him. He was great for the first few weeks I had him. It just unfortunately, I think it was old age, to be honest with you. No external sites, nothing. Uh, the female's still doing really well, but I do have another pair coming in from Aquabid. So I'm going to try a, kind of a trio, see how that goes. Uh, I may separate each female and then kind of – rotate what female is potentially breeding to try and get some different bloodlines going so I can keep those those going. But unfortunately, right now, I only have the female. And I was bummed when I found that because in two days, I lost the German Blue Ram male and then the next day, I lost my Rainbow Shark that I've had for five years. So that was a very unfortunate week last week. Let's see. Tiffany says, I'm thinking about collecting and selling long fin white clouds if they would be small, about one inch. If you start selling some long fins, I think I may be interested. Man, everybody's interested in these in these white clouds now. <clears throat> Let's see. <laughs> Tiffany, I'm going to go uh, raid, or what is it? Stock your YouTube channel now. I want to see these white clouds. All right. Well, we're closing in on that 8.30 mark. Um, usually kind of when I shut down my streams just because i got to get my daughter to bed and get things going. So, again, thank you, everybody, so much for joining me tonight. We had a, I had a really good time doing this stream. It's a really good day today at the waterfront. Um, if you have not followed them on Instagram, I highly recommend you do so. It's at the waterfront SLC. Uh, Lewis does a great job posting some pictures on there, different things. Uh, my – Corbenzas are out flashing again. We're going to try and snap a picture really quick. Got it. All right. All right. So, again, thank you so much, guys. So, make sure, you know, share this out. Let's get some going things going on the channel because we have some incredible videos coming out here in the next few weeks. Um, first exclusive tour of the waterfront, uh, some dovey cichlid pairing, you know, some, some potential uh, breeding behavior there. I even got to do an unboxing at the waterfront. So, that was awesome. And say Lewis is bringing me some some fish down tomorrow. He's going to come check out the fish room. Really excited for that. Talking with him about doing a live stream with us. Uh, I'm going to show the platies off soon. Uh, the fish behind me soon. Like we got things cranking and going. And I just I always hope that somebody learned something. That's my ultimate goal. Stream videos. Somebody learned something. Everybody had a good time, which I hope I can provide here in these crazy times. So. Thank you, everybody, as always. I really appreciate everyone being here and just the support we have. Uh, we're on our way to 2,000. 
So I, I do have something planned for when we hit 2,000 subscribers. Uh, I really want to give back, say thank you, and hopefully we can get some more fry in the fish room so we have some more uh, potential giveaway options. So, again, thank you for my moderator helping me out as much. And I'm, I've got some Instagram and some YouTubes to go watch because i got to figure out where all these fish are coming from. So thank you, everybody. We will talk to you on the next one.